Bom dia, meus queridos. After turning myself into a pickle in Jerusalem, I made the trip back to Europe so I could try and speedrun the story of the Viceroy of India, Francisco de Almeida. The saga begins in Portugal, with Francisco having to grab arms and help crush a rebellion or something. I lost focus for a minute and lost half the story. We start by getting attacked by the scum Aragonese, but they don't pose much of a threat. We can't train troops here and have to go and convince these guys around to join the cause. Luckily, they're everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. It's such a waste to have all of these and not be able to use them. It's okay, I can find troops in forest anyways. And some more here. Just sucks I have to rub the prince's balls on their face for them to join. The army seems big enough, we can start marching towards the first camp. We reach the first camp with the prince foaming at the mouth for blood, and we clean it with ease. Camp fully raised, and I send the prince for some more ball rubbing conversions. Ugh, you just had to ruin it with the last sentence. Oh look, the duke! And him dying gives us money, maybe I can buy some villagers now. Off to go find more friends. Come at me fellas, we're going pillaging. Time to step on the cardinal's neck. Palisade walls are just so easy to break, I love it. The army inside crumbles like paper and somehow the cardinal is the last to die. Is there an option to disembowel the cardinal? Second camp raised and Aragorn is almost gone. Another short stroll until the last camp. And as we get there, I send the cavalry ahead to deal with the onager since my army is mostly made of paper. Mosh pit in full force and we come out on top. Aragorn sent back to Middle-earth and we are given a lot of new lands. And villagers. Makes sense now why we were given the tiny village. We must choose between destroying military buildings or mills. And I go for the mills, as it seems easier. I really hope they don't keep sending waves of enemies. Alright guys, marching back towards the ships. I'm gonna wall here just in case. Oh damn it! The villager wasn't quick enough. Everybody in the ships, I wanna be sneaky about it. The plan is to catch them from behind. Son of a bitch, of course there's a galley here. Not a problem. Oh my god, the glitch is gone? Wait, everybody back in the ships, I wanna see this again. Mmm, delicious. Army unloaded, we move towards the mills. And the first falls. Also the second without major casualties. Third mill falls, I can taste victory. Final mill is protected by an ICBM tower, but I don't think it can protect it. Nope. It can't, and all mills are destroyed. And with the poetic statement, the scenario is over in 45 minutes and 55 seconds. The crown was so happy with Francisco's performance, they sent him to Africa to deal with the Emir problem. Which is fine, but I want to make this quick because I don't like hot weather and this is in the desert. Straight into organ gun while the shitstorm unfolds around the fort. Once it's built, I load it into a ship with some other units. And off we go towards the Emir. I must be 12 years old mentally because I can only think dirty things about the last sentence. Ship unloaded inside Amir's base and we roll the organ gun towards the castle. Let's see if your engineers are faster than me. And now we load our hero and some villagers for some sneaky tactics. The clock is ticking, homeboy. Pray for your engineers. Siege workshop ordered inside Amir's base. And I need villagers on wood to make this fast. Now for some mangonels. First one built, just need to train his aim somehow. While he practices, I'm gonna send my caravel to check out the coast. Excuse me, just trying to improve my siege units for the pirates. Gonna build another one, only cause I have nothing else to do. The pronunciation of Pereira here is beyond terrible. But fun, one of my childhood best friends is called Pereira. He doesn't have this awful goatee though. Join Portugal, we have a lot of bakeries. Ah, that should be enough practice for the mangonels. Thanks, Amir. No, the might of Metsemias. I did this. Lion of Africa nailed in a very good 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Francisco was hell-bent on reaching India, but had to stop in Eastern Africa for a pit stop and massacring of innocents. But it's still summer there, so I'll speed this one up as well. Caravals go east to look for friends to join first. How about I do none of that? Not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Ah, there it is, the key to my victory. Don't mind me, guys, just passing by towards Mombasa for some Itai. Alright, just need to unload my little buddy on the shore here. 
Sorry to bother, just looking for a bathroom around here. Mwahaha, <laughs> they don't suspect a thing. Let's explore the map a bit more, meanwhile. They did such a great job with the reskins. Oh, cool, more buddies. The destruction animations are so cool. First problem done, we move towards Kilwa. Or Kilva. Kilva. Very impressive Portuguese technology allowing ships to phase through rocks. I'm not sending my entire army, just a cannon. These tight passages always make me sweaty. Just need to find a suitable place outside their walls. Nope. Nope. Fine, I guess I'll land here. Baobas are such incredible trees. I really want to see them in real life soon. So chunky. Enough shenanigans. Get in position, cannon. First we get rid of the stable. And once that's done, we aim on the base of Kilwa's castle. Cool, it's working. The Malian Bombard Tower looks so menacing even though it shows two cannons on each side but only shoots one. They could have given us two Bombards, just saying. And with the awesome demolishing animation happening, Kilva is destroyed. You're such a goof, Francisco, still in the enemy's clothes. Empire is ruined in a very colonial fashion in 16 minutes and 13 seconds. We finally reach India, where our Viceroy ship can finally start. But naturally, the local savages don't like that. So we must show how we deal with that in Tugaland. Honestly, I don't understand why they couldn't get someone that knows how to pronounce things in Portuguese to voice act here. I know I have to destroy their navy, so we start with that. Oh no, they have Teresa dice. Ow, these ships are so strong. I never played as Portugal before, but I heard good things about the Feitorias. It's a very awkward start inside the enemy city. But we shall push slowly. We find a castle and let the cannon deal with it. It doesn't go well. We need to come back. A trap should do the trick for us. And I go for the cannon galleons being built meanwhile. And another Feitoria meanwhile, because the other one is not working fast enough. Don't fight the big ship, guys. Go for the target. This is a very slow push. What are you doing? Get out of here. And we need the little castle here for extra protection. Another try for the cannon galleons, only because of the stupid timer. One down, and the other to end this problem. Resources are finally starting to pile up and we can train a proper army. But I build another Feitoria, just in case. Yeah, the Feitorias are quite effective. I think the strategy here will be castle pushes until we end them. Check out the mighty Portuguese navy running away from one fire ship. Northern gate broken? Let's check what's hiding out there. Some buildings and a ship. Nothing too interesting, but I raised it anyways. The first quarter of the city has been liberated and we can move on to the northern part. I see. Is this ship you speak of the one anchored up north? Another castle up here because it'll look cool. Ugh, I hate these ships so much. Ship converted and the pirates join Portugal. Very colonial. He speaks of profit. I like him. Cool. Time to bring these fellas to the front lines as cannon fodder. The army is quite big now. The steam rolling should be easy. I have no idea if the organ guns are doing any damage. Oh my god. Are the caravels made of paper? We got cannons again. Their castle has no chance. So much for naval superiority. Colatiri almost completely wiped off the map. The cavalry runs out to hunt for stragglers. Meanwhile, we build another castle on the cliffs. Army finds a hidden camp and gets to town. And as everything crumbles, Kolatiri Raja resigns. Only these fucks missing. Need to up production here. Zamarines start feeling the power of gunpowder. I just noticed over 70% of my army is gunpowder. Mother of God, that was pathetic of my ships. It's so difficult microing all of these. I really like the Feitorias. The push is slow, but it never stops. More production. I have a profound amount of hate for the demolition ships. I want another castle here. And one here. Here looks good too. And another here. And there. And there. Here also. This pot as well. And one here because it'll look cute. Hey guys, ready to be war crimed? Silly me, forgot to upgrade the units. I'll never get tired of watching these animations. I might not be able to finish my castle abomination. 
Zamorin finally resigns, and I think Francisco might have a thing about people running away without clothes. Stado da India done in 1 hour, 8 minutes and 26 seconds. Francisco made a big dent in India, going full CIA, manipulating city-states, murdering opposition and overthrowing governments. So much so, even the crown in Portugal thought it was too much and ordered him to come back to be exiled. We will avenge your son, Francisco, fear not. Just gotta convert these guys, and these as well. Join Francisco, we have Pastel de Belém, and Vinho do Porto. I bet you guys will have more fun with this. With enough troops converted, we move on to convert Albuquerque himself. I honestly have no idea why I thought cavalry archers was a good idea. We send our troops to draw aggro while the priests do their chant on Albuquerque. And with him joining the fun side, we gain access to his armada. I built a castle here, because I feel this bridge will be a choke point. I'm so happy the cannon galleons outrange the tower. And in two cannonballs, the wandering Dio is not a problem anymore. Gotta love the level of spite in his tone. Army being unloaded in Dio, they'll be the first to bite the dirt. Oh, great start, with some troops stuck between buildings. More troops on the way to Dio. Imperial Age on the way, only because I miss my gunpowder. And another castle here in their faces. Army almost ready to start the plowing. The march begins and we start the plowing of everything. Cavalier runs around scouting their base and we find their general just sitting under the castle. I can see this is gonna be another slog fest. The cannon pounds at their castle and soon the general falls. And the castle falls. The rest should go down with ease as well. Gonna train some more galleons to help out. Hey buddy, join us for a second. I need you to build some things for me. Oh yeah, I forgot we can build these magical buildings. I have no murder holes. Really? I sent the cavalry in for some war crimes in Dio. But it doesn't go too well. It's okay, I'll be back stronger. Oh Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? What's the range on this tower? Yes, I built a trap just for this. We march onto Dio once again, this time better prepared. And in no time, the town center falls, and so does Dio. Only the Ottomans missing. Cavalry worked well, so we go for the same tactics. Yeah, they only train Janissaries, this should work. They're really well defended though. God damn, it's raining lead here. I'm gonna enjoy torching everything. Army ready, and we roll in to teach the Ottomans how to use gunpowder. Walls breached, and the cavalry foams at the thought of the potential raising. Castle done, their camp is melting. So much hate and spite. I like Francisco. I focus first on the siege workshops as fighting against cannons is a pain in the ass. And then send my own cannons in, because I'm a hypocrite. Rain lad, boys. This is for destroying the Eastern Roman Empire. Pew, pew, pew. I don't like this because it's not Catholic. Oh no, guys, quick, fix it. Nailed it. Just need to hunt down for the last survivors. Cavalry runs under the town center and hit it with swords until it drops. And the Ottomans resign, satisfying Francisco's thirst for revenge in 1 hour, 23 minutes and 44 seconds. Total runtime, 3 hours, 23 minutes and 3 seconds. I think this is the lowest time I've gotten so far since the William Wallace campaign, so I'm pretty happy about it. But I have the Age of Empires wiki to thank for this, with their awesome alternative strategies and whatnot. It felt a bit like Betrayal to play as Portugal pillaging and colonizing, but it was a cool story nonetheless, and the set design here is on point. The partial time stands at 81 hours, 10 minutes and 34 seconds. I didn't do a poll for the next campaign as I've had a big amount of people asking for Jadwiga, so strap on your seatbelts on your BMWs and heat up the pierogi, cause Poland is next.